my dream uh, of everything that I wanted to do in music is fulfilled by Amal and Arman. That is the greatest gift God has given me. And for a father, what else can he ask for? Uh, Amal has adapted himself beautifully to do the best. He wants to excel in every song that he does. And I think excellence in whatever they want to do is their mantra. They work very hard towards their goals. Sambhalu me dil ko dil Sambhalta nahi Dil pe to koi zo Chalta nahi Sahi approach. Talent ka hona bhi bhoat zaruri hai. Kismat ka hona bhi bhoat zaruri hai. Or how you are going to be placed in the entire uh, cosmic of music. It all depends on so many factors. But koshish karti rehna chahiye. Aur karte rehna chahiye. Aur chalte rehna chahiye. Apne safar mein. Hello, sir. Uh, so, firstly, uh, welcome to News 18's Shosha. This is Ranjini Banerjee. And today we have with us uh, Mr. Dabu Malik. Hello, sir. Firstly, congratulations on your new song. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Liked it. Uh, so, sir, my first question is, I think the audience and I, both of us, would love to know what was the backstory behind Dil Samalta Nahi? Ha, so, uh, Dil Samalta Nahi actually is a dream come true for me. And uh, for the longest time, I wanted to sing a romantic song. This is the first song that I did in my life ever as a composer was Thoda Sa Pyaar, Thoda Baki. That was my first song. And which was sung by Alkay Agnik and Udit Narayan. And uh, uh, before the song got recorded, it was always in my dream to sing the duet with her. And that is how I wanted to launch my career as a singer. But surprisingly, the forces and everybody felt like putting me on to being a composer. I really didn't want to be a composer that way. And I just wanted to sing. And um, But then I landed up by doing everything under the sun, but finally became, became a composer. And that dream of singing with the legend Alka Agni kept on delaying, kept on never happening. I made her sing with Sonu Nigam and Udit Narayan. And um, of course, I was, uh, they were the best singers who were singing with Kumar Shanu, Alka Agni, Sonu Nigam, Udit Narayan. And uh, somewhere down the line, when I started my little home label, MWM, which is like a community of music, I said, why not fulfill my dream? And... Uh, you know, so Thoda Sa Pyaar to Dil Sambalta Nahi has been a 23-year-old dream journey for me. And I sent this song to Alka Ji and Alka Ji immediately reacted and she said, it's nice, it's a wonderful song. Let's record it. And we landed up at the studio. And then also, I was also telling her that if I record my voice and if I'm not really happy with what I'm doing, I will get a mainstream singer to sing that duet. But then she gave me the confidence and she says, no, the way you are training me, the way you are singing and the way you are making me learn the song, I'm sure when you go on the mic, you will do justice to it. And I'm really very happy, though I keep on listening the song, listening to the song, but I'm all, all the time listening to only Alkachi. <laughs> and uh, I just can't believe that, you know, my voice is going to become coming after her. It's like um, every musician, every singer, every uh, aspiring person and those times in 90s used to only dream of singing with al Agnik. And uh, so it became a reality after a long time for me, but at last I fulfilled my dream. That was actually my second question as well. So I was going through your Instagram and there was a very heartfelt post where you wrote that uh, after 23 years uh, you could sing with al Ji. So just got to know, how, just if you could elucidate more, how good was your experience? Like, how how did it feel? Did it even feel real after you did it? Uh, for uh, most of the time, uh, I was rejecting myself uh, when I was listening to Alkaji, then I was listening to my voice. So all the time, I used to feel, uh, really, am I do doing the right thing, you know? Okay, in spite of so many uh, years of experience and so many songs gone by, I still felt like a newcomer, sadly. And I uh, felt, uh, almost I was about to get it dubbed by some mainstream singer and I always uh, always thought that I would get uh, Sonuji or Rudit Narayan or Kumar Chanu to sing the song because let me stay as a composer since I'm doing it for my company but then some voice inside told me Ke ab nahi to kab. Itne saal to de diye tumne sangeet ko tumne kabhi gaya nahi to koshish kar lo shayad achha ga lo 
and uh, something can really come off. Uh, and actually, kya, you get intimidated because Alka Ji is such a legendary singer. You always True. want to bring in the force which is matching her quality. And uh, from that point of view, though, I was singing songs, I was doing, but singing with Alka Ji is another story altogether because now, for me, in the sands of time, the footprint has been created. But someone said very well, that your song is, your song is, your label is, और तुम डिसाइड कर रहे हो सब कुछ तो ये तुमने अपनी ड्रीम को फुलफिल करने के लिए कोई रोक टोक नहीं है कर लो सर आई थिंक एक कोर्ट जो सबके साथ स्ट्राइक किया है कि उनको 90s ऑल द कमेंट्स आई वाज रीडिंग इज की 90s की याद दिला दी आपके गाने में सो या हां तो वो जो उस गाने का जो डीएनए था वो बेसिकली मैं चेंज नहीं करना चाहता था आई डिड नॉट वांट टू रीच अ पॉइंट कि जब जब मेरे दिल में वो आई ना कि संभाला है दिल को दिल संभलता नहीं दिल पे तो कोई जो चलता नहीं अब जब खाबो ख्यालों में तेरी ही यादों में बह जाता हूं तो फिर बहलता नहीं संभालूं मैं दिल को दिल संभलता नहीं तो जो उसका कोर है वो डेफिनेटली इंडियन ऑथेंटिक रोमांटिक ऑफ द हार्ट बीट ऑफ इंडिया एंड जो हमारे विरासत में हमें संगीत मिला है उस संगीत की जो शैली है उसको आगे बढ़ाते हुए है इट इज नॉट डिविएटिंग फ्रॉम दैट बट अगर आप उसको हेडफोन्स पे सुने और अच्छे सिस्टम पे सुने तो आपको रियलाइज होगा कि अमल ने जिसने इसको फाइनलाइज किया इस गाने को प्रोडक्शन डिजाइन किया और उसने कोशिश की कि इसका जो साउंडस्केप है वो पैलेटेबल यंगस्टर्स को भी हो जब भी वो सुने तो उसकी बेसलाइन उनसे कनेक्ट हो तो यस वी हैव डन एंड ट्राई टू फुलफिल द होल स्पेक्ट्रम कि किसी तरह सबको अच्छा लगे हां जी सर तो आपने यू मेड अ पासिंग कमेंट अबाउट अमल तो मेरा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन भी ये है दैट आपके दोनों बेटे दे एक्सेल सो मच इन the music industry so would you like to give any advice to parents who have such gifted singers or such gifted children how do they nurture them their talent it's very it's very important for jaise maine aaj maine instagram pe ek aur post bhi dala so bahut sare mujhe messages aaye bahut sare aise youngsters ke mujhe connect ho rahe ho main or young aspiring talented young singers on any uh, group और ऑन एनी क्राफ्ट मतलब वो चाहे एक्टर बने या सिंगर बने या राइटर्स बने या कंपोजर्स बने मैं डेफिनेटली उनके साथ कनेक्ट रहता हूँ और मैं कोशिश करता हूँ कि अपनी तरफ से राइट गाइडेंस दूँ क्योंकि जब मेरे जैसे आदमी को जो इंडस्ट्री से जुड़ा हुआ था उसको तेईस साल लग गए अपनी ड्रीम पूरी करने में एक रोमांटिक गाना अलका जी के साथ गाने में तो टाइम तो लग सकता है और सही अप्रोच टैलेंट का होना भी बहुत जरूरी है किस्मत का होना भी बहुत जरूरी है और हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू बी प्लेस्ड इन द एंटायर कॉस्मिक ऑफ म्यूजिक इट ऑल डिपेंड्स ऑन सो मेनी फैक्टर्स बट कोशिश करती रहनी चाहिए और करते रहना चाहिए और चलते रहना चाहिए अपने सफर में और अपने uh, अपने ड्रीम्स को लेके क्योंकि वी जस्ट डोंट नो व्हेन आर ड्रीम्स आर गोइंग टू गेट फुलफिल्ड एंड व्हेन वी आर गोइंग टू एंड रास्ते लोग कहते हैं ना कि एक ही रास्ते पे चले चलो मुझे लगता है कि मैं यंगस्टर से कहता हूँ कि बहुत अलग अलग रास्तों से पहुंच कर इंसान अपनी मंजिल तक पहुंचता है यू नो समाइम्स यू टू डू यू टेक हंड्रेड रूट टू रीच वन डेस्टिनेशन तो समाउ दी अदर एनी बडी हु टैलेंटेड एंड एनी बडी हु इज वॉन्टिंग टू रिलीज अ सॉन्ग विच इज ब्रिलियंट एम डब्ल्यू एम जो मेरा छोटा सा लेबल है उस पर मैं कोशिश करूंगा कि हमारी पूरी ताकत लगा के उस सिंगर के या उस कंपोजर की ड्रीम पूरी हो एंड दे आर एबल टू रिलीज दॉन्ग्रीमेंटर so the first thing is when i signed maine dil tujhko diya as a composer and uh, when i entered the office uh, i still remember the top music directors of the all country were there they wanted to do the music of the film and in spite of that sanman khan sahab and sohel khan sahab and salim uncle's blessings i got and i was able to do that film solo 
that is something which is unforgettable for me. It, I can never forget. The second time I was very excited is when I saw Bindya Chamke Chudi Khan Ke Long Mare Lashkare on Salman Khan and uh, uh, Dia Mirza when it was shot and it, it was directed by Farah Khan. So that was something which always etched in my memory and it, after playing in the movie, it played at the end credits. I was really emotional. And uh, the last but not the least, uh, I can never forget Hum Tumare Hain Sanam uh, uh, songs. And I can also not forget Zindagi Ka Safar, which was directed by Tanuja Chanda, which was a very close score to my heart. And uh, the most important factor of life is that my dream uh, of everything that I wanted to do in music is fulfilled by Amal and Arman. That is the greatest gift God has given me. And for a father, what else can he ask for? Oh. Undoubtedly, you must be very proud of them. So, any two words that you would like to say, whatever they've achieved till now in their music careers? Uh, they are humble. They are very hardworking, very sincere. And uh, I think that is the driving point because they have seen success and failure of their father uh, in equal measures. He is, uh, Amal has adapted himself beautifully to do the best. He wants to excel in every song that he does. And I think excellence in whatever they want to do is their mantra. They work very hard towards their goals. So, so we'll play a very small game with you where I'll ask you a couple of questions. Very normal yeah. questions. So the first question is, um, is Generation Me, who's your favorite singer? Uh, Arijit, of course. As a male singer, he's my favorite singer. I think he is one of the most powerful singers of the country and is a complete singer. And after that, of course, my son. <laughs> of course. Uh, sir, the second question is that uh, since you're a music direct a director, you have a flair for two people who will go together. So any two people you think of of the previous generation and this generation who will make a very good duet pair? Wow. My actually dream is... Asha Bhosle and Asha Bhosle ji and Arman Malik. Oh, wow. That sounds <laughs> like a match made in heaven. Uh, so, <laughs> final question is, uh, who's your favorite music director of today's time? Today's times... Uh, see, there are a lot of people who I really admire and I really uh, am fascinated with. But for me, uh, Rahman Saab has been my favorite composer. And because of the soundscape that he created and taught the next coming generations of the great quality that can be produced. I really love him and I highly respect him. And uh, I think there's a lot to learn from that man. Of course. And so finally, we would love to hear you sing and end this interview on a very positive note. So if you could sing anything, it would be great. You want me to hear Sambarla Hai Dilko? Should I sing that song? Yes, that sir, I've already sir. Sung? Yes, anything, sir, whatever you feel like. Sambhalu me dil ko dil Sambhalta nahi Dil pe to koi zo Chalta nahi Khabo khayalo me Teri hi aado me Beh jata hai to phir Behelta nahi Sambhalu me dil ko dil Sambhalta nahi Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. All the best for your song. Thank you for taking News 18, Shosha. Thank you.